So GDB, the GNU debugger, added a new feature where in the TUI mode, you can scroll around using the mouse wheel. However, this feature broke selecting text. Like if I want to set a breakpoint on something, I can't just double click it and then type out break on that thing. Or if there's some code I want to rerun or some expression I want to evaluate manually, I can't just do that by selecting and then pasting it. So today we're going to figure out what's wrong and then fix it. So first things first is we need to build the code from source and make sure that we have a development version that also has the bug. I know I have the code checked out here. Let's make sure it's up to date. Okay, now it's up to date. Now we need to look at the instructions on how to build it. So let's look at the readme, dot slash configure and make. I don't want all the tools. I just want GDB. Well, let's do it anyway, I guess. Building GDB requires GMP and Furfla. Lib GMP dev, lib MPFR dev. Maybe that'll work. Try again. Hey, it seemed to work. Compile. This will take forever. Oh, the build failed. Why did it fail? There must be an error message somewhere. Warning, make info is missing. Apt install make info. Wait, where's make info? Tech info, that's it. Let's try again. So um, while we wait for this to build, let's figure out what code might be relevant. So I think that this stuff is probably using end curses for the TUI, the text user interface. So uh, I want like end curses text mode. No, not text, mouse mode. Has mouse, get mouse, mouse mask. So it's probably related to get mouse, right? Or has mouse. So let's, wait, did it finish? Okay, maybe it finished. Hey, there's no colors, but the mouse thing is problematic still. Okay, so we were able to build a development version. So let's look for the has mouse function. Not the get mouse. Hey, get mouse. GUI dispatch mouse event. So who's calling this? if the character is key mouse. So this is handling the mouse events, but what turns them on in the first place? Mouse mask. To make mouse events visible, use mouse mask. So I guess I want mouse mask. So there's all mouse events, zero and zero. So maybe for text selection, I can change this to just button four and five. Let's see what events they use. So the events, they look at one, two, and three clicks. That's the problem. And four and five pressed. Let's see what happens if I just do four and five pressed. That should give us a scrolling, but not the click behavior, maybe. Scrolling works, but I still can't click. So maybe I just need to turn this off. Scrolling still works. Oh, and now I can click. So scrolling was still working. That's interesting. Maybe there's another mechanism they use for scrolling. Maybe it has nothing to do with this scrolling code. So let's turn this off and try that. Yeah, that code's not active. So something else is doing the scrolling. Maybe there's a separate scroll thing. Okay. Maybe I was wrong originally about the scroll feature. Anyway, the setting the mask mask to zero seems to fix it. So what I'm thinking is because there's no way to keep, like obviously there's no way to keep this behavior while also keeping the terminal behavior. I think we need to just turn off mouse mask, but that needs to be a user setting. 
So we need to research how to make a user setting in GDB. Um, and I suspect there's no user setting already. There's a secret. I looked into this yesterday, and I'm only now recording the video. Some of this I already knew. <laughs> but, uh, so let's try to make a setting. So this command shows the settings. So let's find a name for a maybe unique setting like circular trace buffer. Add set show boolean code. Uh, I guess we want one of these, huh? Set show. Okay, here's the two E options. Let's add. What is class? No class? Let's figure out what this means. Maybe there's docs for that. In the H file. There we go. Class TUI. Oh, I see what's going on. I think. I'm not sure. Anyway. So debug TUI is Boolean. TUI H. Bool enable mouse. TUI enable mouse. False or true actually is a default. So mine is TUI enable mouse. TUI supports mouse clicks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so what is this stuff down here? Show to we debug null. Oh, you can put custom code there. So that's like a callback, huh? I guess we need a show. Well, that's kind of dumb. Why doesn't it just do it for me? Show to we mouse events. I like that name better. Um, I need new formatting. This doesn't look aligned. Align it. Actually, does Vim align it? Yes, it does. Good. Okay, and then uh, here, show TUI mouse events. Well, let's see if it shows up in the settings list. Oh, I broke something. So it's saying TUI set list is not declared. Uh, because it's stuffed in this guy. So I guess I got to put my code in here, not where I put it. Now we should be able to show TUI and it should appear. Mouse events. It's on. Help show TUI. Show mouse events in TUI mode. Oh, I'm missing a period. So it's currently on. And I should be able to set to the mouse events off. Oops. And then show, and it's off now. Doesn't do anything yet, but cool. So let's commit our. Oh my gosh. All these things. Let's commit our work. Whip. And now I have to wire the setting up with uh, the actual behaviors. So that's, we lost it. Mouse mask. This guy. So we need to say if TUI enable mouse. So default behavior broken. If I set TUI mouse events off, I can select things now, yay. Now, when I did that, I went out of the mode. So if I set it back to on and go back in, now if I turn it off again, wow, that worked. I did not expect it to magically work. Hey, I guess we're done. I thought we would have to do some hook thing to change the mode if it's already visible, but I guess not. So let's look at the contributor guide. Let's read the README. Con con 
contribute. Reporting bugs, see that. Oh, there's a GDB readme. Reporting bugs, graphical interface, write in code. Contribute. Okay, there's a file called contribute. For information, see here. If you write a change, we encourage you to distribute the change yourself. You may also want to submit your change so you can be considered for inclusion. That's what I want. Certain legal requirements. Check the contribution checklist. Okay, describe the rationale for my patch. Okay, here. Explain how you tested the patch. Okay. Okay, what's the title? What do patches look like? like this. Add a set uh, e mouse events off to restore old mouse behavior. Uh, mouse selection. Okay, there's my message. Now what? Documentation. If your patch adds a new command, it should be added in the manual and mentioned in the news file. Oh, I need to do this. Update the docs. So we need to, I guess, look at an existing option, such as TUI current position and see where the docs are. There's the news file. So I need to put that there, but I want to do the doc first. Mouse events, I guess. I don't know. So that's a doc. So let's add that to our commit. And we need the news file. News. How were other things documented, such as compact source? New commands. So they just list it as a new command. Okay. Word wrapping, Vim, get it right. Okay, updated the news. Testing. I'm lazy. Properly formatted changes, sure. Submitting patches, send the patch to this. Git format patch. I think that's how you do it. And send. Sent. That gets sent to a mailing list, right? So I can look at the archives to see my message. Uh, I don't know when it'll appear here. What is it you did? I fixed a bug or added a feature, depending on your perspective, to QuickLint. Not QuickLint. Hey, there's my email. Which, of course, this mailing list doesn't pretty colorize the patch, so... Ugh. So let's recap. First, we identified the issue. Then we built GDB from source so that we could reproduce the issue and also so that we could make code changes. Then we searched the code base for relevant code and hard coded a fix. To keep the old behavior as an option, we added a configuration setting, copy paste and code from existing settings. Then we looked at the contributor guide, which told us what to include in our commit message and where to put user facing documentation. Finally, we sent off an email with a patch as an attachment. The whole process took about 45 minutes from downloading the code to sending the email off. The GDB maintainers eventually replied to my email. They seemed receptive and suggested some documentation improvements. Hopefully my patch ends up in the next version of GDB. I hope this video showed you how easy it is to contribute to open source, even for dinosaur projects which use email instead of GitHub.